what we're going to do, whether you can see the center of the part right here, as you can see the part's warped. Um, I'm going to use CNC Shark's ability to follow warped surfaces to do a texture on this. I don't have a planer big enough to put it in. If I did, it's going to take off so much surface on the top and the bottom that I won't have the girth that I wanted or the width, thickness. So, what we're going to do, <clears throat> I did a texture program that looks like hand carving. So I'm going to load that texture program. Uh, if you don't know how to load a program, uh, take a look at some of my other videos. It'll show you. Now, let's see if you can see this. Yep. I am going to use it. The area, we're going to use that, and we're going to capture new points. So I have to do that. I have to connect up the material. And this is okay to prepare. So I do that. I see it's coming over here quite rapidly. So I pause it so that I can uh, get the material in place. Now I'll speed it up so that you can see. I touch all five points. This is the first one. The next one is the far right. The back one. And then all the way in the left corner. And then finally the one in the center. Okay, so that captures my five points. To so remove this. Okay, I started the program and let it run. You can see it's doing a texture program, but it's not quite doing it the way I hoped. It's cutting, see the center there? It's taking about uh, almost a half inch out of there. And I didn't want that. I wanted uh, to follow that ridge. It doesn't do that. I learned, I called tech support and found out that it doesn't do that when you use the teach pendant. You have to use the computer to do that. With the computer, and ready to control software it allows you to pick as many points as you want I would have picked probably three on each side and three down the middle and that would have made it so it was tilted uh, the way I wanted it to you can see right there that it is because it's going through that center point and you can see that it's only taking a little bit off from one end to the other and now that it's drifting off it's gonna chew more off um, I was surprised at how well it did chew it off. It, you can see how thick it chewed it off, and that's all in one pass. So it was cutting a half inch with a roundover bit, which was quite a bit. Um, but here's the result. So the vacuum is off. And hopefully you can see what I'm trying to achieve here. See, that's a textured surface. So it looks like it's actually be hand textured. It's uh, one that I developed and then saved in uh, V-Carp. So, I just modified it so I could get more of a gouged effect. Problem is, what I wanted it to do was follow the contour here. Let me point it out. See, here and here it did. But up here, it went deeper. I wanted it to follow this outside contour all the way across. Well, I've learned after I called Next Wave that, as you see, it went up here. It did do a kind of an X and, and follow the contour both those ways. So. I have to use ready to control, which means I have to bring my laptop out here. And then I can actually pick points along the ridge so that it actually will go up and then back down. And that's what I'll do with the next piece. Uh, so I have to dust off my laptop and bring it out, charge up the battery and go from there. But it still did a pretty good job. It, it did what I wanted it to do, but not exactly because of the contour here. So, but it, I'm, happy with this one I just will make the next one even better so thanks for watching and follow the ready to control update have a great day